This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hey guys, um, my name is Bethany. I've been listening to your show for about a month now, and I just love hearing other stories of fellow people who have really experienced um, paranormal things and everything. So I have quite a few stories, and I'll just, you know, tell a few now. Um, starting back, um, I've lived in our current trailer down in southern Virginia for about, I don't know, six years now, five, six years now. And we always lived for the majority of my life, or as long as I can remember, most of my life we've lived in the same trailer park. Well, my grandmother moved up here in her trailer, and then when she moved out, she gave it to us. And um, there was always, which is my current room now, it was just an eerie feeling. And when my grandmother lived here, I would stay with her sometimes. And I absolutely hated this room. Like, it was my worst nightmare to stay in this room. It was so creepy. And so when she moved out, me and my mom and dad and youngest brother and oldest sister, we all moved in. And so fast forward a couple years, my dad ended up passing away, and it's been about six years now. So really we didn't experience any kind of spooky, ghostly things, I guess. Like that never really happened until like after my dad passed away. And then I noticed a lot of weird things happening, like things that couldn't be explained in the way I thought. Um, I have to narrow it down, you know. I have to have some kind of reason behind it before I go to thinking, oh, it's something paranormal. So um, one day I was cleaning out my car, and no one was home. It was just me. And... It was a really cool summer day. It was surprisingly not hot at all. And so I'm cleaning out my car, and I have my front door open, so I unlock my keys. I grab my keys and unlock my car. And as I get to my car, it locks back. I guess it's got the automatic lock, so if I'm not out fast enough, it'll lock back for safety precautions. So I get out there, and I'm like, great. So I turn around, and I get right up to my trailer, and I go to go up the steps, and I'm on the steps in the front, facing the front door, and I can hear footsteps walking down my hallway. And I know it's not just, well, I don't think it was the wind blowing or just the trailer settling. It was footsteps, distinct footsteps. Like when you're walking down the hallway or if anyone's walking down the hallway, you can hear it because the front door is right there at the hallway, right where it meets. So I thought that was pretty creepy, and that just kind of scared me. And um, so I kind of, I was just like, uh, maybe it's just me. And then there was another incident where I had, at the time, I was working at a fast food. I was working at a Wendy's, and I was going to school. So um, I got out of school, got off of work, and I came home. And my mom was asleep in her room, and my little brother was at school, and my oldest sister had moved out now. So um, I go and I feed our animals and everything, and I'm walking back up the hallway, and my room is, again, at the end of the hallway. So I walk. It's my room, the bathroom, a place where our furnace is, and then my brother's room, and then at the very end it's the front door, living room, kitchen, and then my mom's room on the other end. So I'm walking up the hallway very slowly. I'm so tired, and I'm just thinking of everything I have to do. And I get a few feet away from my room, maybe like, I don't know, seven feet away from my room. And I'm walking very slowly. And I just got everything on my mind, and I hear this loud crash in my room. And then I'm so scared. Like, I'm terrified at this point. I'm just like oh, my God, what is that? Why did all that fall? And so I sneak, like, I just walk slowly into my room, and I push open my door, and I had this entertainment center type thing 
with a bunch of books and baskets with perfume and nail polish and everything and just little odds and ends that I set there. Just, you know, things that I don't really use, but I leave them there. And all of these, I had three big yearbooks from when I graduated high school the year before. And then I had a bunch of books on the side that I read or had read. And all of the books were knocked down in the basket holding perfume and some lotions was knocked over. And the glass had actually broken onto my carpet. It was pushed so hard. And so I was just like, I actually took pictures of what it looked like before and after it had happened. And I had had the pictures, and I was just like, what the world? Because I had cleaned my room, you know, I was going to send it to my mom and everything. Like, hey, look, I cleaned my room, jokingly. And so I took a picture after I found the things all knocked over, and I was just like, so this is creepy. So I clean up, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just, like, astounded. I'm like, how did this happen? There's no way this could have fallen over by itself. And it's just crazy to me because I set it all back up. And the way um, I have it, you have really got to push those heavy books because it's books all um, pushed together and set up. And I made sure they wouldn't fall over. So unless you physically push them over, there's, like, no way they could have fallen over. And I was like, okay, maybe, I don't know, maybe someone uh, hit the wall or something. So I go on the other side of my room. I set everything back up, and I go on the inside of my bathroom because the back of the wall is um, in the back of the wall of the bathroom. Like, my wall to my room is right there. As you go in the bathroom, you turn forwards. And that's the back of my wall. Like, I don't feel like I'm making a lot of sense. But, um, like, I was hitting on the wall, and I was, like, really hitting on the wall. And I made my mom come in here and sit down and watch. And I was just, like, banging on the wall as hard as I could. And, like, the books weren't moving or anything. And just the way they were or had fallen looked like they someone pushed them. And I was just, like, so creeped out by this. And... Um, we had have, or we had, or continue to have, a lot of little incidents that are just not quite explainable. It's like, okay, where is this coming from? Um, the last one I'm going to tell about is I was laying in my bed facing my door, and it was cracked open, and my mom was asleep back in her room all the way at the end and everything. And she had came in from work, so she was asleep. And so I was laying there, and I um, was watching TV, and I ended up falling asleep. So I woke up, and I'm just laying there, and I was, like, thinking. I was, like, okay, I have to get ready for work soon and blah, blah, blah. So I was just laying there, and I can see when my door's cracked open, I can see, you know, straight down the hallway. And um, I'm laying there, and I see... A shadow, and I'm like, oh, it must be my mom coming to talk to me. So I just lay there, and I'm waiting for my mom to enter the door. And then I look again, and it's a small shadow. It's like uh, almost childlike. It was short and just like they were about to open the door. And I'm laying there, and I'm watching, and I'm just like, so calm I'm not scared or anything and I'm just like in my mind I'm thinking come on in if you're coming and then I blink and they're gone and I set up and I look back look around and I get up and I don't know it was just so weird to me and I was just like I didn't feel scared or anything and I'm always always listening to podcasts or reading things that have a lot to do with the paranormal or anything because I just find it so fascinating and it's something I believe in but I ended up talking to my mom later on I was just like did you call come to my room or were you trying to come into my room earlier and she was just like no no um from work 
since I came in, and I was just like, okay. And she believes in it, so it's easy for me to talk to her, but I don't know. I don't really like to talk about it unless it's, like, someone I know that truly believes because people are just so, like, oh, that's probably fake, you know, it's everything and this and that. And like I said, if something happens, I like to prove or try to think of what it could be before I say or assume or think that it could be, like, a ghost or anything. So, um, yeah, that's all the stories I have for today. But um, thank you guys so much for what y'all do. Like, really, it's so nice to be able to hear other people and know that, you know, I'm not crazy and that other things happen to other people, too. Um, I love your show, and I love hearing y'all talk about things. I listen all the time when I'm going to work. And, um, yeah, thank you so much. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.